Good morning. Question of the day is, which is your favorite insect? Is your favorite insect butterflies or dragonflies? Which is your favorite? Raise your hand if you love butterflies. Raise your hand if you love dragonflies. Oh my goodness, I love them both. That's hard for me to choose. Okay, I'm thinking butterflies are pretty cool. Pretty cool, okay. Yesterday, we talked about insects. Do you remember what an insect is? Hmm. An insect has three body parts. Do you remember the names? Head, thorax, abdomen. And then sometimes they have wings, right? Sometimes they have wings. They have something to help them hear and smell. Do you remember what those are called? Antenna. And also, they have legs. We have two legs. Insects have six legs. How many legs does a spider have? Hmm. Do you know? Four on this side, four on this side. Four plus four is four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. Spiders are not an insect. They are an arachnid. So they are not classified as an insect, but they are a creepy crawly bug, right? Okay, next part. Let's do the song that I taught you. Are you ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Sing it with me a little faster. Oh, Beatrix and Babs is a pooper here. You'll probably hear them. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Do you think you can do it faster? Stand up, if you're not standing up, here we go. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Do you think we can do it faster? I think we can. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Do you think we can go faster? No, oh, take a deep breath. <gasps> Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth and tail and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. <laughs> Good job. Okay, that just gets silly. Here is a bee hive. Where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody can see. Watch and see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Go ahead and catch one of those bees. You ready? Bzzz. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Ew, it's yucky. I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Look, mom. All clean. Don't be squishing any bumblebees down. That's just pretend. We're fine. Okay, let's do some calendar. Go ahead and stand like a soldier. 
for the flex loop. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand on your collarbone. Put your right hand on your elbow. Put your right hand on your heart, on your heart. Bum, bum. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice. Well, we need to count today. I'm gonna make it rain all the way to Tuesday. Guess what? It's Uncle Terry's birthday today. I looked at my calendar and I'm like, Ooh, it's his birthday. I better make him a cake. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What two numbers make fourteen? I hear a four in there, don't you? And then the teen is always a one. So a one and a four, 14. What well, comes after green umbrella? Green umbrella, cloud, red umbrella, cloud. Green, cloud, red, cloud. Green, cloud, red, cloud. Green, did you say umbrella? Or did you say cloud? Do, 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 do. 14 is a cloud. Awesome. Okay, today is Tuesday, April 14, 2020. Two, zero, two, zero. We need to put a tally mark. Yesterday we started a new bundle. So today we're gonna add a second tally mark to our new bundle. We're gonna count by fives. And when you get to the 110, you're going to, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 111, 112 days of school. How should we write 112? We need three numbers. We need a one for 100 and 12, which is a one and a two. 112. 112 days smarter. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Go look out the window. Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is there snow? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather? Do you know? What do you see outside? I see some beautiful, some beautiful sunshine today. Should we put a sunny up? Or a cloudy? A little bit of clouds, but not too many. If it gets to be too cloudy, we can always switch it. Right now, it's a beautiful day. A good day for a birthday. Okay, for days of the week. We're gonna be doing butterflies today. We're gonna be talking about butterflies, so let's do butterfly voices. So kind of like a flittery voice, perhaps. Days of the week, <clears throat> butterfly. Days of the week, butterfly. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, butterfly. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, butterfly. Days of the week, butterfly. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, butterfly. Okay, question. What is today? Today is Tuesday, Tuesday. So if today's Tuesday, what was yesterday? 
It was our first day of school for the week. So it is Monday, Monday. Good. Monday, Tuesday, what will tomorrow be? Garbage truck comes tomorrow. Wacky Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Awesome. Hey, what's your season? It is still beautiful spring, spring weather, and it is sunny and it's still cool outside. Uh, yesterday that wind was really cold. I worked outside for a little bit, then I got cold. So I went back inside. Okay. You ready for some butterfly knowledge? Let's do it. Okay. First, we're going to sing a little song to teach you about the butterflies and the cycle. So first, it goes like this. This is an egg. All insects start out, pretty much all of them, start out as an egg, okay? It goes like this. A butterfly lays an egg on a leaf, on a leaf, on a leaf. A butterfly lays an egg on a leaf. Look what hatches out. So what do you think hatches out of an egg for a butterfly? It goes next to a caterpillar. Yeah, the egg hatches into a caterpillar. A caterpillar eats the leaf, eats the leaf, eats the leaf. A caterpillar eats the leaf. Look what happens next. We have to eat, eat, eat to get healthy and big and grow strong because going to attach itself to a branch and it spins itself into a chrysalis. A chrysalis is another word for cocoon. It's like a big blanket, a big burrito blanket. Okay? So what they do is they attach themselves to a branch in the chrysalis. It hangs and makes a chrysalis, a chrysalis. A chrysalis, it hangs and makes a chrysalis, changing all its parts. It changes when it's in here. It goes through some magical metamorphosis, okay? And then when it is all done changing, this comes out. Next, a butterfly comes out, comes out, comes out. Next, a butterfly comes out looking for a flower. Why, why is it going to look for a flower? What's so important about flowers? They have something special, and we're going to learn about those next week. It goes with this, but they've got sweet nectar that the butterflies use to drink out of. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, there's a special little straw. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay, do you see that special little mouth right there? And it, it drinks the sweet nectar from the flowers. You can see it better on a real butterfly. Unfortunately, you're not here to see the butterflies. I always have butterflies every year and we watch them transition into butterflies from little tiny, tiny caterpillars. And they eat and they eat and they eat and then they spin themselves in a chrysalis and then they hatch. We'll do it again next year. You'll probably do it at your other school too if you're headed to kindergarten. Okay, so. Butterflies are really cool. They start out as an egg, they go to a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and then emerge as a butterfly. Um, frogs. Frogs are another type of creature that starts as an egg, then it goes to a tadpole, and then it turns into a frog. So, lots of animals change their ways as they grow up. Do you change as you grow up? Yes. You start to look different. 
your face changes, your bones get longer, you get taller, you lose teeth, you get new teeth. So we're always changing, we're always growing. Okay, have you heard this story? I bet you have. It's one of my favorites. But uh, the very hungry caterpillar, it goes totally with our butterflies today. It's by Eric Carle. Remember Eric Carle? He does all the watercolor um, illustrations in his books. He's one of my favorite authors. All right. In the light of the moon, a little A lay on a leaf. There's the egg. What's it going to hatch into? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and poof, out of the egg came a tiny, a very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through how many? Four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. He is really eating a lot. Whoa. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, a lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oh, that night he had a terrible stomach ache. He ate too much. Does that happen to you sometimes? You eat too much and your tummy hurts? Mine too. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. A delicious leaf. Oh, now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon or a chrysalis around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what's going to happen? What happens after the cocoon stage, after the chrysalis? He was a beautiful butterfly. Oh. What's he going to go look for? A flower, right? Because it's got to drink the sweet nectar that it produces to help stay alive. I love butterflies. They're so cool. So pretty. Their wings are symmetrical as well. Remember what symmetrical means? When it's on one side, it's on the other side. 
So you see how it's blue with the red dot, blue with the red dot, yellow, green, yellow, green, a little bit of purple, a little bit of purple. I have a really cool ABC book too with butterfly wings. All the butterfly wings have the letters of the alphabet in them. Just by taking pictures and finding them. Being like an eye spy with my little eye. Letters and butterfly wings. That's so cool. Okay, well I have to take Poop Poop to the doctor right now. He's got a growth on his eye and they canceled it weeks ago. So I gotta go take him right now. But we will check in with you later. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. We're gonna go celebrate Uncle Terry's birthday, make him a cake, and see you tomorrow. Love you, bye.